We're talking about, well, ego and pride and putting people on pedestals. And uh, I'll start this segment off by just connecting it to other programs, the last program, those of you who've watched, and giving it a basis for those of you who haven't watched to understand what we're saying. Now, there's a condition called pride and ego, and this ego uh, requires approval from other egos. And we elect these egos, or we elect these other gods, to say that we are gods. One of the conditions, one of the typical condition of an ego is it's always seeking approval, but it lives in a psychotic state. It lives in this mental world, because only in this mental world can the pride or psychotic ego think it is something that is not. Because if it would stand outside reality, outside the dream state, it would realize it was nothing. So to avoid becoming nothing, becoming annihilated by the inner light, it lives and dwells in an Alice in Wonderland world of fantasy. And it stays there to avoid reality. And in this fantasy, it finds ways to, to get itself worshipped. Now, a typical situation is this. You find people enslaved to their work. They're very good workers. They may be an artist working for some big company, and they work for 20, 30 years, and they, they produce well. Someone's going, me. And, and everybody thinks what a wonderful worker they are, and they work hard. And of course, when they get fired from the, when they retire, they get a gold watch and nothing, and they get, you know, no appreciation at all. But during that time, spending all their energies, all their life producing, outproducing, doing well, getting approval from the bosses, working hard, currying favor. Now you see a person like that as a little wind-up toy, um, a slave of approval. But that person does not see himself as a slave any more than the drug addict sees himself as an addict, but he sees when he gets the fixed as someone giving him a fix for his ego.